New this morning, you might be thinking about adopting a new pet, but how do you know if it's the right time for you and your family? Well, here to tell us when is the right time is Mary Heiser with the Capital Area Humane Society. Good morning, Mary. Good morning. First, let's talk about <laughs> Maddie because Maddie is the cutest dog I've ever seen. She is absolutely <laughs> adorable. Maddie is actually seven years old. She's a terrier mix, emphasis on the mix. Uh, she does very, very well with children, but she needs to be in a cat-free home. Okay. Just not a big fan. Okay. So if somebody's thinking about adopting Maddie, what are some things to consider? But the first thing is, who else in your home is going to be taking care of the pet? Even if you say, oh, it's going to be my pet, I'll do everything. You really need to talk to your everybody in the household mm -hmm. um, because they will be affected by it. They will have to help with things. So you, what are your expectations? I mean, you may picture your, your pet sleeping next to you at night on your pillow, and your spouse may think, well, yeah, the crate in the family room is a fine place. Um, it's not just allergies in your family, it's a matter of allergies in your extended family. <laughs> your your in-laws may never be able to come visit again. Not necessarily a bad thing, but you know, grandchildren, <laughs> in-laws, cousins, friends. Um, you need to figure out if you can afford this. I mean, they estimate that a dog will be somewhere around twelve to fifteen hundred dollars the first year in vet care and food, and a cat is around a thousand dollars the first year. So you, know, you really have to take in all considerations. I mean, if you're looking for a jogging buddy and your roommate or spouse is looking for somebody to just hang out on the couch, mm -hmm. um, you really need to talk about what kind of energy and what kind of time are you going to have. And you also had on the screen there some possible life transitions. So maybe you're thinking about having kids down the road, something else to consider. Right. I mean, it, I mean your, your pet's going to be with you for 10 to 15 years. So if you're thinking of downsizing in a couple of years when the kids go to college and moving into a condo, maybe this isn't the time to get that great day you always wanted. Mm -hmm. um, if you're thinking about, you know, moving across the country, changing jobs, changing hours, changing shifts, you know, you need no matter what it's like it's like having children you need to make sure that you have a backup plan to help take care of your pet okay and uh another thing you mentioned there was an arrangement for vacations sometimes people like to travel a lot and if you have a pet it could hold you back if you'd possibly. like to go somewhere on the spur of the moment you need to have a good plan you need to have a reliable pet sitter that you've engaged or a kennel and you need to talk to your spouse about that in advance you don't want to suddenly find out that well I can't imagine going without the pet. You need to be on the same page before it, it comes to these decisions. Okay, some good tips. And before we let you go, you have a special on Tuesdays yes, for adopting we do. cats. We've started having $2 Tuesdays for adult cat adoptions. All cats six months and up are $2 on Tuesdays only. Regular adoption screening applies. We, we don't value them any less because of the lower adoption fee. We simply want to get more, ha more cats into homes quick quickly. Okay, great program there. And before we let you go, what are the hours we can get Maddie adopted? Maddie would love to see you today from 12 to 5 or tomorrow from 12 to 5 and she is a real sweet girl. She really is. Very good job, Maddie. And remember, if you miss this <laughs> Pet of the Week segment, you can always catch our Pet of the Week segments by heading to 10tv.com slash pets. Thanks for joining us, Mary. Thank you.